feeling lucky, punk? I'm just kidding. I just wanted to show him my cannons. Hi, this is Zetsu. This will be an explanation video series on every single chip in Battle Network 4. Be warned, this will be very nerdy and quite technical. Some concepts may be a bit hard to grasp, but I'll try my best. First up is the knowledge hype battle chip cannon. It occupies 001 to 003 numbers, being cannon, high cannon, and M cannon, with the only difference being damage. The locations to where they are found are shown on the screen. You may pause the video or check some resources in the description for it. It is a very straightforward chip, in that it will attack the first obstacle or enemy in front of Mega Man. Cannon also flinches enemy navies and enters them into the invis state. The nature and characteristics of this ship sadly make it undesirable for navy deletion. Some cons. Number one, the damage is quite poor. The highest it can attain is 120 damage with M cannon, with 240 damage for full synchro. There are many other better alternatives for damage output. The animation is quite bad. It is slow, so if you are using it to counter hit enemies and you fail, you open yourself up to enemy attacks. Chips which induce invis can prolong the fight. The single target nature of this chip means that enemies with obstacles like Junkman and Topman, for example, are harder to hit with. Also, that pretty much rules out combos with Voodoo Doll. In spite of this, there are a couple of pros. Number one, good range. Number two, good code spread and quite easy to obtain. The star chip of Canon can notably be found in in-battle GMDs in town area, which is accessible quite early. Therefore, my conclusion is that this family of chips are only okay for counter-hitting. Fact is, because they induce invis if you fail, they might possibly be quite bad. In general, you'd have to find navies which have predictable movements in order to use them as counter-hitters. An obvious one is Kendoman, who is arguably the easiest navy in the game to counter-hit. Some other examples include Fireman for his flamethrower attack, or Woodman who is quite predictable with his bullet and jump attack. So what you can do is counter-hit, then follow up with a chip or a combo which deals a lot more damage. For example, that's about it for the single chips. Now for the program advance. Giga Cannon is what happens when you combine the cannon chips in the following order. They still have the cons of slow animation and single target nature. However, Giga Cannons have significantly more damage, which is nothing to scoff at. This makes these chips much more usable as combo enders. They do not induce invis, which is a much needed improvement. Notably, they also push affected enemies down their row. In general, chips in this game which can push or pull have combo potential. Also, Giga Cannons can push rock cubes and turn them into projectiles like Airshot. Other destructible ornaments like Time Bomb and Boy Bomb are just destroyed by it, so don't try moving them around. So thus, a high damage combo would be to counter hit the enemy, then finish them off with Giga Cannon. In summary, the cannon chip hits one target in the front, causes invis, and flinches the enemy. Its cons outweigh the pros, in that its damage is poor, the animation is slow, can prolong fights due to invis, and can't hit through obstacles, but has good range and good chip codes. Giga Cannon, which is the program advanced version, has poor animation and can't hit through obstacles, but has good range, doesn't cause invis, good damage, and can push enemies. Therefore, I would not recommend Cannon, but Giga Cannon is a solid choice. So that's it for the Cannon ship. I hope you enjoyed this showcase, and if you'd like to see more combos right now, I'd honestly ask you to check my Reddit user, i underscore play underscore zetsubo, because there's a lot more content there. However, I'm working on posting videos too and growing my YouTube and TikTok, so I'd super appreciate a view or follow slash subscribe. Finally, if you'd like to straight up discuss with me on Mega Man related stuff, you may access my Discord channel, the Network 4 Hub. All links are in the descriptions.